First of all, empty the trash and replace the liner. Set the used trash bag in the tub. Spray the countertop, sink fixtures, and the entire toilet area, and finally the tub and shower fixtures with properly diluted bathroom cleaner sanitizer, moving from left to right. Now use the Johnny Mop plunger to lower the water level in the toilet to below the water scale line. Add one ounce or about two tablespoons of Safety Foam Disinfectant Bowl Cleaner to the end of the mop and swab it inside on that dry exposed area. Leave the toilet brush in the throat of the toilet with the handle upward, allowing for some dwell time for the safety foam to work. Take a dampened microfiber cloth to clean the mirror from top to bottom, zigzagging back and forth after cutting in the edges. Use the polishing cloth to remove any excess moisture. Flip to a new side of the same microfiber cloth to clean the countertop left to right. Then clean the sink clockwise, pausing to polish the fixtures with the microfiber polishing cloth. Proceed to the tub and shower and polish and clean the rim of the tub and the fixtures around the tub. And leave these two cloths on the edge of the tub. Now move back to the toilet and clean the inside with the Johnny Mop. Squeeze out any excess water and return it to its caddy. Dampen a new microfiber cloth. Clean the back of the toilet along with the tank and any exposed pipes. Change to a fresh side of the same cloth to clean the outside of the toilet bowl. Then use a new side of the same cloth to clean the lid and the seat bottom and the seat top. Switch to another side of the cloth to clean the rim of the toilet and finally the back hinge area that is the dirtiest part of the toilet. Place this cloth on top of a garbage bag in the tub. Take the microfiber dry scrubby do pad on an extension pole and lightly sweep the entire floor in a figure eight pattern, lifting up the trash container along your way. Clean all the way to the door frame. Then you'll come back to the tub area and remove this dry pad. Switch to the microfiber wet pad and you will now damp mop the floor in a figure eight pattern using an S motion back and forth picking up the wet microfiber cloths and polishing cloths on your way. Now use the counter or polishing cloth to clean and polish the door handles inside and out and clean the light switch area as you exit the room. Voila! Done in just three and a half minutes.